going on, everybody? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Q with WTNT's 107.7. Q in the streets. And I am here with the fabulous ladies of St. St. Henry's. We are on season three. I have Demetri McKinney, Jasmine Burke, and I have my homegirl, Don Half Kenny is in the building. <laughs> What's going on, ladies? Y'all all right? We're good. Yes. On the Season three. How we feeling? Great. Uh, so good. <laughs> what can we expect from your characters this season? Mm. What you didn't expect. <laughs> exactly what you did not, what the you exact did not expect. The opposite of what you thought was going to happen is happening in every one of our lives. Yeah. <laughs> what about yeah. for you, Dad? Um, you know what? My character is going to take an interesting turn. I can't tell you what the turn is yet, mm -hmm. but I think it's something that everybody's going to say, you know what? Okay, if she can do it, maybe I can too. So mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to people seeing what that is. And your character looks like she's being a little naughty from she, the um, trailer. I like release. to call her St. Angela. St. Angela. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, I'm about to say. I to say she's a saint, but she, you know, she is a little bit more than a Yes. You know, we are all sinners. Yeah. We're all sinners. We're trying to become you push better. Saved by grace. That's the Saved by, by grace. Saved by grace. <laughs> Being Saint on a, a project such as this, where are you ladies looking for this to go? Like, what's the next level? Because I feel like you ladies have superseded what you even thought like this show could bring. And so now you have, like, so like I said, superseded. Where do you see you ladies going next? Like, where do you see the show going? continuing to rise you know I, I think that um, or I know for me when I approached the show it was with a little bit of trepidation this is water that hadn't really been hit yet like that on a network that really was willing to take a chance with something like this so we didn't know how it was gonna pan out season one was great when they came up with season two we was like oh how they gonna how they gonna top that season two came in the numbers came in we were like oh yeah okay so <laughs> now that we're here in season three and to see just how much all of the character spectrums have grown, just yeah. to see how much people are really rocking with us and riding with us like that. I can't even think of how exactly it's going to go. I just know it's going to continue to go up and it's gonna go there fast. Yeah. That's true. Being women in this business, how have your careers maintained? You know, Demetri, you've been in it for a while, and Jasmine and, and Don, you know, you're just starting out yeah. a week. But if you really do your homework, you know, you girls go back a few years and it's just like, ah. No, I'm not new to it. That no, I'm just saying. To it. Yeah. I mean, I'm 13. No, no, no. I didn't hit my 13 year anniversary being a professional actress. Like, this is what I do for a living. This is my life. 13 years, praise God. So, and it's been a journey. So, not new to it, but true to it. <laughs> Maintaining your career being women in this business, how have you lasted so long? Because. You know, this this industry can be so cutthroat. It, you know, one day, like, you know, I was just talking to Clifton Powell, one day you're on 100, the next day you're on 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've definitely had my ups and downs, and yes. I've definitely had valleys. I've had low, low, low points in the business where I didn't know I was praying to God, like, is this what you want me to do? I thought this is what you wanted me to do. And I've definitely had those moments, but, you know, God always shows up. He always shows up. And um, I, that's what I've had to learn to do is just to trust the process. I, I never intended to act, just always been kind of stupid. <laughs> 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 just really, really goofy, really giddy, always in touch with my emotions. Music was always at the forefront. Mm -hmm. So the way that I feel that I've been able to maintain my longevity is realizing that every time I get a project, it is a blessing. There are a lot of people who want to do this who haven't gotten their opportunity yet. Hallelujah for that. <laughs> um, and staying true to who I am. You know, I could have probably been further if I would have done a little something else. Oh, no! Or I, I have been if I had taken other roles that were yeah. before, whatever, whatever, or gotten on a certain show and just showed my complete Heidi. But being who I am and recognizing that I have that responsibility to myself is something that I think that people trust in me. And I think that that is definitely. So true. staying true to yourself. Yeah. I definitely. I think for me, um, I came from corporate America. So it's really? totally. Yeah, we don't talk about that too much. <laughs> scratching the stuff it's like I'm the new face mm -hmm. so um, it's been a true blessing to see these young ladies you know to see their careers and it, it inspires me to want to do more within myself so yeah. I think I fell in love with Demetri and I was like ain't nothing like a good man that is so I was like come through I love it you was um, definitely drumline you know, when Drumline came, I was like, I love her. And I was just watching that the other day. So, oh, you know, you. I really pay attention to 
you know, the work that you, that you ladies put out. And I'm just so super proud of you guys. You know, 2018, you, ladies are killing it. You know, as guys, we got to step it up because y'all coming in stomping real hard. Y'all been doing it. Y'all doing it. No, but girl, you see, you see, you see that nasty hair uh -oh. You see? It's just little <laughs> no, stuff no, no, like no. that. No, that just no, like, no. okay, well, what can I do to like measure up with that? Can we pause for a moment and under the that there is not one track? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but don't Jesus. Get too close. Don't get too close because you know I need to go see my style. Oh, <laughs> good. Oh, this is my natural beauty. Thank you. you ladies continue to do continue to do what you know God has called you to do. I'm super proud of you guys. I'm even honored to just be in the room. Even you and you know, I know you we're close friends, but I'm just honored to be on the platform with you ladies, you know. Keep going. Thank super you. proud of you guys. And um everybody y'all say tune in to season three of Saint Cecilia. These ladies on bring it. Wait, one more question. What characteristics do you feel like your character is like? Okay, that's a little bit of me. That fight. Tamara. <laughs> oh, Tamara this season. Um, you got a little she, singing spirit on you today. She, you let me say sing? something. I have singing too, right? It's like all the time. Just sing all day. And I'm just always singing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Tamara gets out of that meek, shy, sheep. Thing that she's kind of had the first two seasons and a lot of people think that's exactly who I am and yeah you know I'm cool till I'm not so when people Hello. see this other side <laughs> of Tamara they'll get to see that there's another side of Demetria too that definitely came from an organic place mm -hmm. um I think with me and Christy on this particular season I relate to her wanting to get it right wanting to correct her mistakes mm -hmm. wanting to say okay i was wrong i messed up let me go back to the, let me go back to the people well, you and make it right was, i was like i know right? <laughs> Scam it. but you know i relate to that because that's how i am i'm a mm -hmm. i'm a big per a bigger person type oh. of person i'll come to you and say you know what i was wrong can i make it right and yeah. that's what i relate to with Angela, you know, uh, like I said, you get to see Angela's uh, character expand a little bit more, and you get to see a little bit more of her this season, but uh, for the most part, Angela has a promiscuous past. You got a promiscuous past? No, I ain't got a promiscuous past. I'm just saying, you know, as far as, like, uh, with Angela, she has this, um, she wants to better herself, you know, because she comes from that past, and then she goes into the church, and, you know, once you do something better, you don't want to go back. You don't yeah. want to look back. And so that's where I can relate to Angela as far as wanting to better myself, not for this case. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, we're going to tune it up. We're going to wrap it up right here. Y'all, I know it is. It's your boy Q with WTNT's 107.7. Q in the streets.